need to find the area of the part of the surface of the parabolite x square plus z square equal to 2ax, line between the cylinder y square equal to ax and the plane x is equal to a. So the regions are cylinder and the plane, right? So what is the equation of the parabolite given to us? That is equal to y square plus z square is equal to 2ax. And the equation of cylinder is y square equal to ax and the equation of the plane is x equal to a. These two are the regions that is given to us the cylinder and the plane, right? Okay, to find the surface area required 1, I'm having the formula uh, S that is equal to square root of curly Z over curly X whole square plus curly Z over curly Y whole square plus 1 DX DY. Now to get curly Z over curly X and curly Z over curly Y, we will make use of this equation that is 1 given to us, the equation of parabolite. So we partially differentiate this equation first with respect to first x and then with respect to y. So differentiating this first with respect to x we get 2z curly z over curly x is equal to 2a and from here I get curly z over curly x as a over z. Similarly differentiating this with respect to y I get 2y plus 2z curly z over curly y equal to 0. From here I get curly z over curly y as taking y to the other side cancelling 2. So we get negative y over z. So from the given equation we always get the values of curly z over curly x and curly z over curly y which are needed to be put in the required formula. And from the regions, always we get the values of the limits, right? So the formula for the required surface area S is this. Putting the value of curly Z over curly X as A over Z. So here taking the square also, this is A square over Z square plus this is negative Y over Z. That is y square over z square plus 1 taking the square root and now first we have to get the limits for x and y right so the region given to us is y square equal to ax and x is equal to a from y square equal to ax i can get my values of y to be as negative square root of ax and positive square root of ax so the limits of y will become negative square root of ax to positive square root of ax, right? And x equal to a is given to us. So the limits of x simply 0 to a, right? Okay, now because the limits of y are in the form of x, we write dy first instead of dx. And the limits of x are constant, so we write dx after dy. So this is 0 to a, the limits of x. And for the inner integral, the limits of y as negative square root of ax to positive square root of ax. Simply find this further. Taking the LCM I get a square plus y square <coughs> a square plus y square plus z square over z and the square root in the numerator dy dx now to get the value of z first from where i can get the value of z from the equation of parabolite that is z is equal to 2ax minus y square under the root. Alright. So, putting here the value of z and also the value for the z square, we get 
0 to a integrals negative square root of ax positive square root of ax and this is okay what is that square it is 2ax minus y square so 2ax minus y square y square y square cancelled out so i get a square minus plus 2ax in the numerator with square root over the value of z as square root of 2ax minus y square from here right so this is dy dx now first we have to integrate with respect to y and for this square root of a square plus 2ax is constant so simply integrating 1 over square root of 2ax minus y square now this function is neither even nor odd right so we have to just integrate this with respect to y so this is equal to from 0 to a and taking this square root of a square plus 2ax outside and the integration for 1 over square root 2ax minus y square is sine inverse y over square root of 2ax and the limits are from negative square root ax to positive square root ax and then dx so this is 0 to a square root of a square plus 2ax now putting the upper limit as square root of ax in y i get sine inverse 1 over root 2 and then when i put the negative limit over here i get this as negative sine inverse 1 over root 2 which means on adding i get sine inverse 1 over root 2 twice dx now to integrate this further with respect to x taking this outside this is simply a constant and what is sine inverse 1 over root 2 it is pi by 4 and then integrating this a square plus 2 a x square root so this is equal to pi over 2 and also from the square root of a square plus 2 a x i can take square root of a common from here and writing square root of a outside and this is from 0 to a this is a plus 2 x square root dx right so next simply integrating this now with respect to x the power is i can take this as a plus 2 x the power 1 by 2 what is the integration for this a plus 2x to the power 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 into 2. So this is equal to pi by 2 square root of a. And this is a plus 2x power 3 by 2 over 3 by 2 into 2 and the limits from 0 to a. Right? So this 3 is taken outside 2 is cancelled out with this 2. So this is equal to pi over 6 square root of a. Alright. Now when putting a over here I get 3a to the power 3 by 2. And when putting 0 I get a to the power 3 by 2. So this is 3a to the power 3 by 2 minus a to the power 3 by 2 right so this is equal to now taking a to the power 3 by 2 outside i get pi over 6 now square root of a and i'm also having the a to the power 3 by 2 this will give me simply a square so this is equal to pi over 6 square root of a and taking a to the power 3 by 2 outside i get inside 3 to the power 3 by 2 is 3 square root of 3 minus then 1. So this is equal to, this is the power half that will give me simply pi by 6 a square 3 root 3 minus 1. This is the required answer. Thank you.